Hi everyone, it's Gothic Lee Man here today. So today I'm supposed to be doing this video on dealing with negativity in public, being a goth. But this is probably going to be a real shock horror to a lot of people. I actually don't receive negativity in the public for being me and being myself. I don't receive it. I don't see it. The only time I might see some negativity is from teenagers, actually. Um, and the reason being that is I'm 26 years old, so I'm not young anymore. I'm a teen. I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm an adult, and I have children. So generally, everywhere I go, I have my children with me. So a lot of the time I don't receive the negative of being me because people are too busy looking at my children or if my children are having meltdowns because they're both autistic. It's more to do with them rather than myself. Um, so also another fact is I come from Australia. I live in Australia. I live in a the far south coast, which is down the southern coast of Australia, and it's a really accepting area here. Um, everyone's generally very open, warm, accepting, very free spirits as well. So we get a lot of um, health type people, um, hippies, if you want to call it, but more just creative souls so my whole town yes they know me yes they see me around they know my kids and they love the fact that I am so different and unusual and unique no one's ever sort of given me a weird look about it I've only ever had compliments or you know people having a chat to me because they just know me so well um, so, yeah, I don't receive the negative because I have just such an open, warm community here. And Aussies, we're very community-based spirit. We're very laid back. We, we don't let things, sort of trivial things, bother us because we've just got such an open, warm attitude to everything. And that's generally is the Australian culture. The only time you don't see that from Australian culture is when you get to the bigger cities of Australia and it's so rushy, rushy, get to where we're going sort of attitudes that and when we get mixed races, racial people in the one area together. But down here where I live, it's just beautiful and accepting. So I guess I'm one of those lucky goths that sort of don't get the the whole, um, you know, the, the, the sour looks or the uncomfortable stares or the comments. I don't receive it. The only time I've received negativity is from people I've trusted. Um, they've sort of been the worst negativities. They're generally your own family, but not a public, from a public perspective. If anything, I get people stopping me to just compliment me on my outfits. Yeah, and I guess that's because I am in that bracket of I have children, I'm a mother, you know, so people don't sort of, don't worry about the, the little things here. Um... Generally what I do in public, if I'm worried about getting negativity, um, I sort of present myself in a confident manner. And when you ooze confidence in your own presence and how you sort of present yourself to the world, it kind of becomes a protective wall or a barrier from negativity from people. So when I'm on my own and I have to be, and I'm dressed up as I am, I will sort of give myself like a pep talk, like, yep, let's do this. I'm confident. 
So they get the stare on and just walk with confidence. And and that has always worked because then you don't get anyone sort of trying to give you, um, bring you down because you're already so confident in yourself. And it's more like I sort of block everything out too. So when I'm in my confidence, where I'm walking, whatever it be, I block everything out. I'm not even looking at the people around me. I'm just, like I might do the quick glance, but I'm not really focusing on them and what they're doing directly. I'm just getting from A to B, but doing it that I'm just I'm smiling, I'm happy, I'm walking. And that's probably hard for a lot of people, but try it. Seriously, just try it out because you'll be surprised that it does actually work to be confident in yourself and just not to even worry about the back noise. Like, if people are going to say something about you, as you're walking past, you're just already walked past them. It doesn't even matter if they've said the comment because it's, you know, not unless they're directly going to stop you and go, hey, you know, blah, 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 I don't like this or blah, 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 whatever. It doesn't affect your life whatsoever. It doesn't affect what you're doing or who you are as a person if, because they're just passing by. They're not. They're they're behind you. They're gone. They're gone in the wind. You'll never see that person again. It's only when you get people that are regularly in your life that you trust. Um, you either love them, they're your friends, they're your relatives, neighbors, whatever be people in the community that you know regularly. Unless those people start to give you negativity, that's when things start to bring you down. Because you know those people on a personal level where when it's people that you don't know on a personal level, it really doesn't need to affect you. You don't need to stress or worry about that. So I hope this video was informative from my perspective. Thank you for watching my video.